There's chill theater, so Tony, yes. Yeah, uh, to do. Well, it's not I have it done for a little while, but uh, it's ready to go. You guys, should, you want to know who's about to play it? Right, well, you're good with the setups, my friend. Uh, it's an in-studio guest, uh, our favorite Bob Kelly. Why is he part of Douche Chill Theater? That's not nice. No, uh, you know, it's the ones we love. <laughs> good one. <laughs> what? Breaking news on CNN: Hillary Clinton, independent candidate. Yeah. There it is. It's gonna wreck. Uh, it's gonna tear apart the Democratic Party. I knew something was up because she re refused to get out of the race. And everyone's telling her, get out. Ah, uh, Tony, Deuce Chill Theater with Robert Kelly. So we just go right into it? Yeah, please. On this episode of Deuce Chill Theater, rotund comedian Robert Kelly brilliantly improvs his way through an audition for the wildly popular Burly Bear Network. Ready? All set? Great. I'm sitting here six days waiting to do this. My butt is asleep. Great. You just saw Sandy, little sweetheart who everybody loves, including myself. And I, you're probably wondering who I am, Robert Kelly. I'm going to be with you for just a little bit. So please stick around because you are watching the Burly Bear Network and check us out. Oh. Is that good? Is that all right? <laughs> If by all right, you mean a tightly puckered asshole and goose pimples from shoulders to wrists, then yes, Mr. Kelly, it was all right. Oh, and by the way, Sandy hates your guts. Join us next time on Douche Chill Theater. I, I got an idea for your next Deuce Chill Theater. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sam's working that day. Uh, <laughs> hey, the next yeah. installment of Deuce Chill Theater. <laughs> I tried. Should I get a new uh, oh, voice? Of course huh? you should. <laughs> Deuce Chill Theater. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's a one-trick pony. He really is. Sam. Why? With his voices. They all sound like some wannabe English kind of a... Yeah. A I, thing whenever he's doing production. Now you know what I'm working with, Ant. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. yeah. I think the only yeah, other yeah. English accent was Steve that that could do him yes. when, I, when I asked. So, <laughs> well, I'm let's hear sure. Steve's English accent. Maybe we could do auditions today for for the new voice of your. I like chill the theater. idea. Oh, good idea. Yeah. Where's Steve? Or is he still with Stunt Brain? <laughs> yes. I was talking to Lisa about a promotion. We're giving away Dr. Scholl's. We need girls to get naked and shave their cunts in Times Square for Dr. Scholl's pads. Oh, Steve, oh, I know. Farted. I know. Well, who else? I did before. Oh, my God. Welcome aboard. Thank you so much. <laughs> He's just pushing out fear. Relax. Exactly. That's not what nervous. it is. It really is, is not work with me. Relax. That is disgusting. It's unbearable. It smells like a fucking sewer in here. Oh. Thank you. Jimmy, I love you, but your colon is really offensive. Uh, why, why are you showing up at 925, Steve? You know, no. I apologize. That was... Uh, stunt brain? I, you and no, stunt brain that again? was me and Mora, actually. What, Mora, the alcoholic uh, GM? I don't know that. that. That's what you were telling us. I didn't say that at all, actually. How about this? After CBS, there's XM. <laughs> Both shows are equally important. I put a tremendous amount I, of value on the XM show. That's We'd like right. to have I some don't, help. I certainly do as well, and I certainly wouldn't... What, uh, what did Moore have for you today? We were going over the promos that apparently we are now. We are still allowed to air. Those Remember those pre-recorded XM promos that they told us we couldn't oh, air? Oh, because well, that's a real... <laughs> <laughs> I have to grab these people when I can grab them before they go into meetings, and then I can't talk Fuck to them. Fuck them! Tom, 11 o'clock, we got business to take care of. And then of. I get yelled at, why isn't this done, Steve? And then I'm going to get yelled at because... How about this? Why Wait, what it? happened? What, who's yelling that? Yeah, we all do. Yeah, I know. Um, when it is my turn to get yelled at for not getting certain things done, I can now say, I got it done, but I had to spend 15 minutes talking to the GM. Are you having a nervous breakdown? No. Jimmy, is he having a nervous breakdown? He's falling apart at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> He's falling apart at the stomach staple. Yes. Um... No. Anyway, what, what, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm auditioning from a producer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? What, what? Tony wants to hear your English accent. Yeah, because um, I guess I guess. Uh, what's the line, Tony? Uh, you could say um, on this episode of Douche Chill Theater. Start with that. On this episode of Douche Chill, Douche Chill Theater. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> Maybe we should what try something else. What was that? I don't know. Horrendous. This is horrible. English. 
Um, proper, like proper English. Yeah. Um, on, this, on this episode of Douche Chill Theater. Higher? Higher, higher, what? Higher pitch, please. On this episode of Douche Chill Theater. I li- okay, I, I kind of like it. fucking line? Um, say, uh, Sandy hates your guts. Sandy hates your guts. Uh, oh. ah. <laughs> <laughs> No. Thanks for no. your time. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, wow. Who else would you like to try we'll, out? We'll, we'll call you. It's yeah, my okay. problem. You're in my Fine. fucking house. <laughs> That's right. No. <laughs> you, nothing's wrong. Um, Just stay in right, the living Steve? room. I'll yeah, handle it. I got work to do. Will you blink? What do you want? You're not blinking anymore. I got a lot of pain meds. A lot, a lot, a lot of pain meds. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I haven't started my physical therapy for my back yet. So I, they put my lot of pain meds. Are they uh, down very low or middle of the back? Up high. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, we have another gentleman we have to bring here at one point. We're forgetting. Who? Pat to the Duffy. Oh, oh where is the Pat to the Pat Duffy? Pat Duffy. Where is he? Pat I always Duffy want to, to send this once and for all. I think he's out there signing WoW stickers. Oh, he's oh. Them out. oh. Uh, Pat, get Hello. sit down. Now, I heard we were doing that B thing earlier, which was uh, a big hit on today's show. Right. And I heard that you you were very sad because you want to save the honeybees. Well, yeah, the honeybees are dying at an alarming rate. Yeah? Yes. All right. He's a nature guy, and uh, he punches people that uh, happen I... to throw cups on the ground. Oh, is that why you fucking had a problem with that guy? Because he littered, right? Yeah. Okay. He you lit- know what? I heard the same thing when I was going through the channels, and I and I thought to myself, hmm, I wonder what's on ESPN. <laughs> well, I care quite a bit about the honeybees. What's going on with the honeybees? I, I, I've i heard that they've lost like 35% of their population. Yeah, they're, they're dying off, and really not a lot of people know why. It's called colony collapse disorder, and they're trying to figure out what it is, but... If there's no honeybees, then there's no plants, so there's no oh, life. Bullshit! You'd think honeybees are the only ones that pollinate. No, but they pollinate. Oh, they, they pollinate a lot of fruits that we use every Everyone, day. Everyone, every little animal pollinates something, especially flying little animals that land on things. You gotta have more faith in the scientists. They're gonna, they're gonna grow bees soon. That's right. Is it our fault? Is that what I'm being led to believe once again? And the only enemy they have. Is man. I hate that. <laughs> the fucking guilt part of any nature show. Yeah. The uh, population has been dwindling, and they have no natural enemies. The only reason is man. <laughs> uh, I'm a fucking di- I'm a, a dipshit fuckhead. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. the one going up there fucking them up. So what? So the, no flowers means what? Means nothing. No. If if they can't pollinate certain things, then we can't get like. You know, uh, so this whole life thing, we're what? counting on these dumb bees? Well, a lot bees make up for a lot of the stuff that we eat. Like, you're eating strawberries or raspberries right now and blueberries. Yeah. But uh, honeybees pollinate both of those. They're, they're blueberries. No oh, way right. to pollinate those on a farm well, or anything well, without fucking bees, right? Well, they've, they've been moving bees into certain farms to to do that, but they're running out of bees because they keep well, dying. Well, no way to do it artificially. Fucking... <laughs> Just go get the Mexicans. They'll take care of it. Hey, put some Viagra in the bee honey. They all start <laughs> fucking. Hand out <laughs> eyedroppers to Mexicans and, and problem Is there solved. Absolute, think about this. What? Seriously. Does this world that we fucking live on have one species of animal on it that if they're gone, the whole fucking thing collapses? Pat Duffy. No. Do you honestly think that? No. That if the honeybee went away tomorrow, just completely 100% gone, that we'd all be running around naked fucking killing each other until uh, the, the sun burnt out? But like they, as much as I would like that, no. I'll tell you what it's like. I, I yes. don't. Uh... Aphids. <laughs> aphids. Yes, the that... all important aphids. It's true. The aphids. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh no, ladybugs. Do they eat aphids? Really? Oh, Sorry. oh. Ladybugs we, are, are crucial to our ecosystem because they eat aphids. Yeah. We produce at mm. such an amazing rate. Mm-hmm. Uh, then we come out with some aphid spray and just spray the shit out of everything no, and kill the aphids. No, you don't get it. They reproduce so quickly. I'm for just hey, killing everything. How do we how do we save the honeybees? Yeah, yes, yeah. thank you. Pat no. Duffy, comment. Well, uh, you can go to helpthehoneybees.com. What? And there is not a helpthehoneybees.com there site. Is. You're, you're fooling. They have, there is. They have the stupidest things you can do like yeah like what don't swat them <laughs> don't kick over hives and put gas on them pretty much <laughs> don't shit into a bee's mouth while he's yawning Ooh. <laughs> don't do that uh, joke, what are some of the dumb things you can do to save the honeybees there than plant bee friendly plants like what 
Um, is my raid tree bad? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tony, what do you think of uh, Pat wanting to save the bees? I think it's ridiculous. I, I probably and I, I meant this. I meant to tell you this, but I haven't talked to you since uh, this weekend. I was driving my Tahoe, which is like eight cylinders, and I was eating Slim Jims and throwing the wrappers out the window. I was thinking of you. Of course, the you whole were. time I was doing it. Of course, you were. Like wait, till I can't, wait till I tell Duffy. What's going on with you two? You all right now? I'm okay. <laughs> I guess I don't know. Are you? Are you? <laughs> are these two okay? I don't know. Kenny's I haven't really. No, they still hate each other. <laughs> I haven't seen him since. Kenny, you since do I realize we're doing a radio show, right? You're whispering to, uh, as we're trying to talk to him. Yeah, Would you like a beverage? <laughs> did you did you see the B movie? No, I didn't. Z Zinc. Nice. That was the good thing to say. <laughs> yeah, that explains everything. There's nothing to worry about with bees. Put my blueberries down. Thank you. <laughs> Go hold in them while you swear. <laughs> 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 No, I mean, we are, what am I going to do? I mean, uh, there's not going to be no physical. Uh, this is like a reality show here. But people are just goating each other to hit each other so they don't have a job. It's going to be no yeah, physical violence. You know. I don't want to see physical violence. Well, I'm I saying, would. you know, there was, a, there was a little confrontation. I don't think it's going to go to physical violence. I, I'm not going to get... But if you, you know, uh, in, terms of, in terms of the Than and Sam show, it was a matter of... Uh, yeah, I felt like he was in my territory. And he shouldn't have been there. And he opened his mouth, and I had to defend my turf. That's what how, turf? That's how I felt. I'm not sure. Turf. The what Than turf? and Sam show. Why, are you, Pat Duffy's a big uh, star in the Than and nah, Sam show No, he, he came to his first one, the past one. Uh, all right, what's wrong that's, with that? That's where the argument came from, that, so, that one night. So the big argument is you guys are arguing who should be hired first, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, his argument is is uh, what I do isn't as good as what he does, and vice versa. Mm -hmm. And we go back and forth, and... Uh, it's up to you guys. I don't know. I'm not going to hit him. I eat asshole. <laughs> uh, you, who eats asshole? <laughs> that's that's the famous clip from Than and Sam. Oh. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> what the hell? What happens when they're not, not labeled? You're not going to hit Pat. It's okay. No, I'm not going to hit Pat, but if I throw something on the ground and he comes after me, I can't promise anything. <laughs> I can't are you afraid of Pat? No. What, are you kidding me? Afraid yeah. of Pat? He gets some rage going, though. We, yeah, mm -hmm. we had him shaking really good. Jimmy, you missed this. Robert yeah. Kelly pushed his buttons to the point he got really shaky and freaked out. Just try, He was yelling at him to get mad, to get mad, and then he started throwing things at Pat until Pat was shaking uncontrollably. Yeah. He's got real problems. Of course he, he does. Oh, you didn't hear the construction worker story? Yeah, I did. Oh, you were here for that. Okay. I agree with Pat on that, although his methods were a little rough, but I agree with him. Thank Sam, you. what's going on here with these two? Sam, please, contribute. <laughs> well... <laughs> Tony also felt like uh, Than and I hadn't given him a fair shake because he felt like we were leaning more towards Pat Duffy's side. Um, they haven't spoken at all. Like, they don't speak when they're here. And they're trying to avoid the issue because Tony says that he has done more for longer and believes that all Pat does is shit stunts. Right. Shit stunts are good. Whereas Pat says... But what about him stapling his forehead? See, this is my, a staple gun. That, that was pretty impressive. Uh, all the stunts are, are good for the show. Yeah. They're all entertaining. Yeah. But my point is, if we're if you're hiring for a position, I mean, really, you could get, like, uh, who's the kid? Magoo, who drank his puke. You can give him, like, a T-shirt, and he'd do anything Duffy would do. <laughs> there's no, there's, I mean, like, it's hard to find people who are skilled and creative and, uh, you know, have can, can write, like, uh, anything, basically, for a show. Um, and you could get a fan, give him something, and and he'll pretty much do that. So, that's my argument. Yeah, Tony's argument is that I'm a I'm a super fan, and that I only do things to impress you guys. Uh, uh, that's what we I, I don't know. I don't, well, I don't think impress. that's true. But Tony, you said Tony thinks that he has the creative mind. Whereas Pat Duffy is just kind of doing whatever you guys would tell him. Tony looks at it like it's Lugosi and Karloff, like that way where Bell Lugosi looked at it. Like uh, who gives you know anyone could do that. But here I am. Huh? I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. If you, if you, if we were both gone tomorrow, he's he is ten times easier to replace than I am. All you got to do is search. On, I bet you one of these five guys out here to to get on the radio would rub some shit on their head, make a shit happen. I don't agree with that. Yeah, it's a tough one. Pat's um, above and beyond guy. You Thank know, you. he's no. I'll you know something. You're no Dave. 
I don't know. He's beaten Dave in the shit. Dave's thing, did he? crazy. He, he, he brushed his teeth with uh, shit. With dog shit, which is one thing. Dry dog. Dave took shit out of his ass and licked it off his fingers. Child's play. Yeah. He yeah. brushed his well, teeth quite literally. with the yes. shit of another species. Yeah. I cross species lines. Dave, what? his own shit is, is, is the safest shit you can... I'm not, no, I think Dave is great. But your own shit... Is the safest shit. But Dave would eat any is shit. Is that a though. famous quote? Who said that? <laughs> that was uh, that was said in the in the in the, uh, the uh, Revolutionary War. It was yes. uh, give me liberty or give me death, and then your own shit is the safest <laughs> shit. It was overshadowed because the guy with give me liberty, give me death yelled it louder to a PA system. Um, in the 1700s. <laughs> yeah, it's from, it's from long, long ways. Yeah. So I, what, what bits have you brought that we've done? Because we did Douche Show Theater. Uh, You've been here for two years, right? Yeah, I mean, there's there's a ton of writing. I've since. I mean, the first the first month I was here, I was getting stuff produced. I mean, all ever since then, it's all the way now. I mean, I just, I handed it. Before I knew how to do the actual production, I would give it to Steve or Derek, and, and they would make it. And then all the way up till now, I mean, dozens, I, you know, and then I pull... Audio for whatever stories I give it to you guys. I did some Larry King, a lot of news anchor flubs over the years. Uh, I mean, I, I don't want to. It, it sounds. No, like, what are some of the production pieces? I'd like to know. What are some of the things you wrote for? Well, the, uh, all right. Let me think. Well, I got the. They did the two. The two douche chill things. That when I first came here, um, I wrote. There was a promo about some, like Dice said something. I wrote that. Uh, that I used his quote and made fun of it, and we wrote, and there was a promo mm -hmm. for that. Uh, I, I mean, so you can't, it's hard to put me on the spot. Too. I can write it down Damn, and come very, back to you in five minutes. You're being oh. vague, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because hold on. In two years, and I, 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 it's just nervous. Well, I'm not going to be able to think of it. And, it, and I'm going to come off like an asshole quote, and, uh, you know, like tooting my own horn, too, for anything I've done. Nice promo when you first got here. So two years ago. Uh, <laughs> and hold on. <laughs> two installations of Deuce Chill Theater. <laughs> I would say probably uh, eight to ten n news anchor flubs I've done. Just that have been the played on air. Okay. I found them myself. Cool. And and mm -hmm. gotten them to there. You could ask Danny. Usually I give them to Danny, and he he reads. Uh, Why is Danny? Oh, them you're saying long? usually I give them to Danny, and Danny like God, takes, takes credit, credit for them. No, 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 no. He's no. right. That that happened once or twice. Uh, all right, once or twice. The, the CD I gave him that he played the one day he had three on him. So I don't know. Yeah, and like two we already had. So. <laughs> uh, well, Danny's very good with audio, so I, I yeah, he's the best. Yeah, Danny's that's his, his thing. He finds it weird. Oh, sorry, great audio. Yeah, no, and I'm, I'm not discrediting Tony <laughs> at all. He, he's he's handed him one a couple of things, but literally it's been, it was a couple of things. Okay, a well, couple of things. Okay, I like to disagree with that, but yeah. Well, hold on, let's work it out. This is what we're here for. It's fine. We get yeah. No, uh, defend I, yourself. I am. I I I think it's eight or ten. I probably could find them in my folder right now. Pull them out. I save everything. Duffy, what? Uh, saver. Are you holding Hold back any stunts? Uh, well, I tried to the last time I was in this with the thumbtacks, but that was that was a no go. Really? Uh, <laughs> he's got a uh, he's got a thumbtack uh, bit there. Yeah. yeah. What's that one? Well, I, I always have about four hundred thumbtacks in my backpack at any given time in case they want to make a thumbtack bat or things like that. In case you want to do something like that, <laughs> tag bad. Why would you just like <laughs> better to have him and not need him? Exactly, spontaneously. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Who knows why we would need it, but I have it. You're so. like James Bond or something. <laughs> no, he's in like a cartoon car character. You? Right. I need thumbtacks to sprinkle on the floor. Yeah. I mean, that's just the. I don't know. That's just a stunt, I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wanted to do the. I wanted to test out the the pain index of the stings. I wanted to do each one. Let's have him get stung by something. Yeah, because well, we have EMS here. On the helping with the honeybees, you can you can offer to keep bees so that you can raise honeybees, and I was thinking about doing that. In the city, Pat? No, I live in, in New Jersey. <laughs> yeah. In Brooklyn? <laughs> You're going to raise honeybees I now? I was thinking about it. What the hell's going on? You can't just decide you're going to raise honeybees. Why not? Because there's all kinds of equipment you need and, and education and yeah. some boxes and some flowers. See, see. Details. You go exactly. shit dicks. Fucking pollinate. <laughs> right there. This is all you need. Now go to work. So Tony, I'm you gotta defend yourself better. We got so far in two years, twenty four months. <laughs> two installations well, you of can't Duke Show Theater, like a dice yeah. promo two years ago, and a couple of pulls. You say Danny says it was a couple of things, uh, audio. Well, and you um, say it was ten. We'll I'll take ten. I've uh whatever two months. The couple times that I've been on air, I've been on air for over an hour the first time and over an hour and a half, which gives a lot of radio. I did all those bits I wrote uh, oh, that I on, read buddy. to you guys in the office. You liked every one of them. I read them on the air. You liked them all. Um, hmm. 
Oh, two and, and a half hours on air? <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking adding this up. Jimmy, you... Hold on. <laughs> I want to break this down by... We have, we have to do this fairly. We'll go over Duffy stuff, too. 24 months. Let's just say 10 bits. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to say Danny's player hating, if you can forgive the term. <laughs> oh, what's the That's one audio poll yeah. every two months. <laughs> Now, two and a half hours on the air. Stan, you want to break out the old calculator? Sure. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what? 24 months. Let's just do uh, what, two, and a, two and a half hours. That's is 120, 150 minutes. 150 minutes, and uh, two years is... Uh, what, 24 months. Is, uh, yeah. So. Add this on, too. Uh, I'm, I'm, we're just doing this one thing at a time. <laughs> this is obviously going to add up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Uh... I can't figure out my calculator. I know you can't, sweetie. I knew this would be a problem. That's it's, why I'm opening mine. It's way less than a minute a day. 6.25. What? Seconds a day? Minutes per month. There you go. 6.5 minutes per... So how much? 6.25. 6.25. So 6.25... Divided by 30? No, by, divided by uh, 4. Let's just go weeks. Okay. That's 1.56. Now divide that by 5 because that's days. <laughs> Point three. <laughs> so, it's so it's about thirty. No, like point, twenty seconds. Yeah, point three, three 20. of a minute. Thirty. So twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. A day. Okay, twenty seconds a day. A day. <laughs> wow. Twenty seconds of airtime. A day. All right, put heads up. I mean, you know, boom. <laughs> uh, smart ass. <laughs> and meanwhile, I got mentioned three times on the FM show today. Just well, because you're sticking your nose in every two minutes. Oh, am I ever? Oh, am I ever oh, in there? First of all, fucking stunt brain took my seat. Am I ever oh, in the studio? Oh, not stunt brain. Stunt brain. He's already a problem. Took your seat. Yeah. I you, always sit there. You don't like that? Well, not really. What are you going to do about it? Probably <laughs> nothing. <laughs> stunt brain's ass. <laughs> Just attack him. So you think that he's basically Buffalo on his way in? Well, no. I mean, it, it, like, the big thing was he almost, almost got into a tussle out on the streets in New York. Like, if every time I, you know, I, I had a problem at a bar or something or I, I smacked somebody in the mouth... I came in here. I'd be barging my way on every month or so. It's, well, you're you know, it's ridiculous. Fucking tough guy theater. No, I don't Start do it. it. I don't act like a tough guy for uh, and who throw water bottles. Uh, you know, get all upset about it. Well, I don't, I, and I don't bring it up because well, I don't feel like nobody gives a shit. Well, I don't like litter bugs. That's all right. <laughs> See, there are certain things though where you say like, I don't feel like anyone gives a shit. But Pat Duffy attacking a construction worker for throwing a bottle makes he realized radio. that's good radio so it also really you know. makes you realize that he's unstable and he probably shouldn't be yeah you know, well perhaps you're right like but, yeah, but look around the, this joint who is stable but, well, but you also True. did say that you smack people in the mouth at a bar a lot that's not a sign of stability well not a lot but <laughs> yeah, i'm saying if, if it has to, it has to come to that it has to come to that. i don't go around looking for it but and then i don't bring it up either tony, yeah. tony threatened to slap me in the mouth on the thing and sam show it's for radio <laughs> oh okay so are you afraid of tony no not at all. Why do you Why do you laugh when you say that? That's that's kind of awkward for everybody. Why would I be afraid of Tony? Well, he's this big kid. He's probably a powerful dude. Right, but you just get a little quicker. Then we can't catch up. It's, it's not hard to outrun a huge, huge dude. <laughs> You're calling Tony huge. A huge. I said dude. huge. Him fat. Would you run away from him? Well, depends if he came after me. Like it was Cloverfield c coming after me. <laughs> <laughs> you call Tony a big monster? Perhaps. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry. I'm like 8 0 on the streets, Duffy. Anytime you want to come at me, maybe take a shot at the fucking title, you come at me. You want to go punch for punch? You can't punch for Let's punch do it right in a now. place like this. All right. All right. Pussy. What do you want? Because you, you, it's going to turn into some. It's, listen, I don't play fight. If you hit me, I'm going to choke the shit out of you until you're <laughs> unconscious, and that's the end of it. You, I consider an attack, and I'm going to not stop until you're passed out or immobilized. That's the end of it. I don't fight for fun. Want to have slap box? No. We might as no. well run fucking races. You want to do that? <laughs> yes. I want, because I'll win. 100 so meter dash. Let's do it. How about a push up contest? <laughs> All right. <laughs> What's punch for punch? In the face? Why not? No, I don't know. No, you can't do in that. the face? Well, I would go for the face. That's a great idea. Thank you. The arm, maybe. Wow, that would be uh, over real quick, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know with who, but punch for punch. If you just, like, wound up and hit somebody, there, I think the first punch is, it's over. There would be one punch and then there would be a melee and that would be the end of that. Yeah. Yeah, because you wouldn't go punch for punch. No. Anybody touch it, if he touched me, I'd defend myself and that would be the end of it. Yeah. you kick his ass, you think? Uh, if I had to, uh, yeah, I could, I could take Duffy. You no could problem. take Duffy? No. The, the cycle factor only goes so far. Yeah. Duffy, you think you could uh, beat him? I think Tony could beat me up, but oh, okay. I, I would stab him. 
<laughs> oh, so now you're talking like, like attempted murder instead of just attempted. a gentleman's kind of yeah. a fight. Well, he wouldn't stab him. To, he wouldn't stab him to kill him. We all know right. That. Just hurt him uh, really badly. Yeah. Yeah. Like prison shanking, you exactly. hit him in the ass Just like five times real quick. And... He would stab his elbow. <laughs> that would hurt a lot. Yeah. Uh, Brian from St. Louis, the stars of this show hate vacuums, walk around the house naked with guns, and pay people to shit on them. Where's the fucking stability on this show? Walk around naked with guns. That was so true, no one could even laugh. Like, that was so accurate. It right. just hurt all of our feelings at right. once. No. How about a dick measuring contest? Ooh, I'm up for it. <laughs> they don't call me old ruler what mouth for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding, I don't want to suck a dick. <laughs> Ricky M from Massachusetts su suggests that. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> someone's getting excited. Uh, more sounds of the Opie and Anthony show. We got Joe in Jersey. Joe, what's up? Hey, boys, how you doing? Hey. Uh, what did it play? Uh, sounds of the listener. Okay. All right, inside Anthony's head. This is not the bit. It's not things that we do. Hmm. There's no reason cutting it off. I'm not trying to be rude, but... Uh, that's, nice to... Uh, uh, well, I'm... Uh, oh, uh, there's something wrong with the mouse there. Uh, Mike in Florida, terrible. what's up? Hey, guys. Hey. Isn't the sound of a listener what we're listening to while we're listening to you? Here we go. <laughs> What's the buzzing part? Did you get that? No, it's porn, right? Porn and uh, a hammer chisel. Oh, I, I, th I thought it was a hammer chisel. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, dude, sounds like a hammer chisel. It does not. It sounds like uh, is. Sounds like a. Uh, all right. Well, uh, <laughs> this uh, this uh, this Tony Pat Duffy thing is this is just like Thriller in Manila. I gotta tell you, this is yeah. just amazing radio. Well, we got going, some. Tony was giving us a it's, list of it's things just he's incredible. done. incredible. It doesn't have to be a fight. This Tony thing is really escalating right in front of our eyes. I, I don't know what to do next with this. Oh my God. Tony, I want to know because you are defending yourself. You got to list stuff. I mean, but Pat does. Let me tell you, some on-air stuff is hard to top. Pat's done. Pat, do an on-air stunt today. He's done the staple in the head. He's done brush teeth with dog shit. Mm -hmm. He's done the fucking homeless mustache with dog shit. Would you staple your nostrils uh, together? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. That, yeah. that could be fun. What? Could... Why, why don't we shave that beard off? Because everybody hates it, and then you could eat that beard. But I, I like it. Yeah, but nobody likes it in the office. Sorry. Right. Shave it nobody off. Nobody likes we'll it. Put it on a sandwich, and you could eat it. No, thanks. It's a great stunt for you. Oh, yeah. Riveting. See, I'm writing for you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so you're frustrated. Beer. He's frustrated that obviously Pat does the the big stunts. He, Pat gets the attention, the, right. whereas uh, he thinks he does more and better work, but he doesn't get the recognition because it's behind the scenes. Right. I, I, I'm not. I'm not saying what he does on the air is not good for the show. Of course, everybody knows it's good for the show. It's mm -hmm. great radio, but I just think it's not uh, compared to the creative side of radio. It pales in comparison because other people could do it. Danny, thoughts? <laughs> well, it's you know there there there. He's right in a sense because there are two different it, there are two different sides of radio. There's like the stunt boy side, and then there's the creative side. And I think that they're both they're. Uh, Pat Duffy excels on the stunt boy side, and I think that uh, Tony Tony excels on the creative side. But don't I do a pretty good job for you on Saturday nights? Well, you do, but I mean, you're not. Doesn't like, that count for something? Creative. Doesn't that count for something? <laughs> you're hitting buttons. To... <laughs> All right. I appreciate I appreciate your work ethic. I think it's fantastic. We've done fifty shows on a Saturday night. Yeah, for for Than and Sam. When have you come in for when I need you on a Saturday? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm here I mean, every Saturday. Saturday. Times are times are tough. I had to sell. Yeah, I, I had whatever. to sell my old man's copper wire to come here today. Copper bucks. wire. Well, I'm just saying you, you managed to come in for every Than and Sam show. So I bet if I asked you to come in this Saturday for Laszlo, you're going to come in. Uh, I I'm busy this exactly. weekend. <laughs> I would I would if I wasn't doing anything. Case closed. You never asked me anymore. I would. All right, well. So it's my, saying, it's Danny, my birthday weekend, and I'm coming enough? in. Huh? He barely comes in for this show. Who, Tony? Yeah, he's here like like maybe one one and a half day a week. But I'm here two days a week. This, this week I didn't come in because I didn't have any money. I'm looking for a new job. But other than that, I'm in, two days. I'm in Tuesday and Thursday. That's enough time for me to create. When you can. You know? Wow. Well, um... I know we don't have any interns. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm not shitting on you. I mean, I know you don't get paid, and it, it's tough coming in here. I mean, I you know I did, I was in the same boat that you were four years ago. I was coming for free. I was picking pennies out of my chick's pocketbook so I could get bus fare. You know what I mean? I was in the same boat. No, I, I, so I, I understand. I know what you mean. 
but Actually, you know, it's it just so happens that Pat Duffy can get here more often than you, and sometimes in that in that kind of an environment, unfortunately, the FaceTime wins out over the guy who's here twice a week. Yeah, we see Pat Duffy's face every morning. So right, well, I mean, I come over here, and I'll just come. I can come to K Rock. I could come in the studio. I'll do a lap, and then I'll. I can come back here. This way everybody knows I'm here. Sam threw his arms up in the air in his aspiration. It's the ninth time we've told you to just come to CBS so people know you're here. And, and yeah, but that that's the thing. Like I don't it's a waste of the company's time for me to go over there and walk around for a little bit and then, then come do up something there. there. No, it's not. It's not a waste of time for you to sit over there and if, if Jim needs coffee, then uh, if I gotta wait another Listen, ten minutes. Hold on, I don't answer to you. So don't tell me what the hell to do. <laughs> first of all. Wow. Shut your face. If you, everyone else gets to be suggesting, you know, I'll listen, fine, but you, you be quiet. Everybody. Tony, what is it that you're doing here that you can't do there? Oh, well, first of all, I did like face. 200 FU calls today. That's first of all. All right, but we have computers and, there. Like, you can do stuff there. I can't get on. I can't, there's no computers over there I could do it on. Bullshit! It, there's three different what I, What'd I tell you? <laughs> fucking Statizito over there. Shut up. <laughs> I told... I told fucking, uh... Wait, what did he say? I told Derek that, uh, you know, I'll do the FU calls or whatever, and he sets me up, and it's done, quick. Over there, Why everybody's booting me up? off the computer. Because I can't get in the FU calls. I don't have the password. What, they give you the password because you have shit on your head? I don't have the password. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything. I got nothing in this place. Wow. <laughs> face right there. Yeah. That's a bit of a face. A little yeah, bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Pat, crowd's still chuckling. Pat Duffy's getting angry. Think honeybees. Honey I know, bees. right? Honey they're so, they're so honey peaceful. Bees. Yes. You know what I'm going to do, Tim? I'm going to go home. I'm going to get a long bumblebee, stick. My friend. I'm going to find like one of them little nests. And and you're going to eat it? Time nest. I'm going to knock that fucking Ooh. nest out of a tree. And them little tiny blue eggs. I'm going to smash them. All right. Just for you. <laughs> and maybe I'll eat them like little blue M&Ms. <laughs> I fucking eat them. What, the, the honeybees uh, have cute little yeah, blue for eggs? For some reason, honeybees have blue eggs. Yeah, them stupid robins. I know you like them even more than the bees. Gonna <laughs> kill every robin nest I see this summer. I, all for you. <laughs> so you think that he could be doing stuff over at CBS? Like yes. on the computer? Like that's yes. your, Dan, I didn't like, know that. that there's was... no reason for him to, to, to just sit over here and claim that he can't go over to CBS. There's plenty of computers for you to use over there. I don't know. Why would I go to that crowded ass office? And be in everybody's way when I got a free computer over here. Three, three computers. Because there's other shit to be done over there while you're doing that work. Like I've been what? doing work for Will. Getting sandwiches? Yes, I've been working for Will Chapman. That's why you're morning. over there. And then uh, Jim needs coffee. I'll go get Jim coffee. Somebody else needs something else. I got Jim else. coffee last week. I, I, my coffee was better mixed than yours. <laughs> oh, Jim, <laughs> fuck you. I never know who brings me the coffee. It's just delicious every time. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy doesn't even know you're alive. That's just the reality of it, unfortunately. No, I know Tony. I, I know Tony. Bit. I never know who's doing my coffee. But I, I see Duffy more. But that's right, Danny's right. You, you, what do you, you like uh, better there, Jimmy? Uh, I've gotten to know Duffy more, but I, I like Tony. But uh, if, if I had to choose, I, I, look, on-air stuff to me is extraordinarily valuable. But I have to say, I'm not aware of all the behind-the-scenes shit, for real. Because I don't do production. So, like, for me, audio just magically appears. I don't see the mm -hmm. hours of fucking hunting that goes into it. Right. So, uh, so I'm aware of there's a lot of shit that goes on that I don't know how to do. I don't know how to do production. All I just do is come here and I just brighten everybody's day. <laughs> I mean, I don't, like, does the sun know everything the sun does? Of course not. I shine here. Um, <laughs> so as much as I'm partial to Duffy, I can't shit on what Tony does either because there may be very valuable stuff I'm not aware of. Said the wishy-washy faggot. <laughs> oh, see that Derek's coming uh, in. Ah, Derek has something to say. boy legs. You know <laughs> Tattooed boy legs. What's up, Derek? What do you got on this? Um, uh, what are you guys actually talking about? <laughs> wow. Um, just basically, Tony and Duffy are kind of having their whole thing again about who's more valuable and who does what. I mean, you know, you, you see it all when Tony comes over here. Uh, Tony helps me out a lot, actually, uh, doing the FU calls. If I'm working on a bit or something, I need something pulled from the internet, I can tell him where to go and he'll grab me some audio, cut it up for me, and give it to me on a CD. What about Duffy? Duffy does the same thing, too. So it's basically whichever one's around. Uh, Tony does a little better job than Duffy in doing it, but... Well, right, well, oh, who would you rather see... Uh, point hired? Tony. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's, why is it up to me? Well, kind of is, though. Just so. an opinion. Yeah. That perfect smile. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I kind of have to go with Duffy on this one. Jesus Christ. Oh, no, Tony. What does that mean to you? <laughs> Well, it's, I guess it is what it is. I, I figure if anybody can count on Derek. See, <laughs> Duffy can learn.
to do what you do in production and stuff. Eh, no, I think I, I, it can be yeah. taught, but but Duffy, the 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 shit he's willing to do, that can't be taught. That takes like a certain courage and re things. retardation <laughs> yeah, to I, be I, able I, to <laughs> actually do that. Yeah, bring him the staple gun. I want to see him staple his nostril today. You got a staple gun? Uh, what, what? I just got a poster from Finn, and he pointed at Derek and it said, Mandals. I know, you're fucking sneakers, man. Jesus Is he Christ. wearing Mandals? No, man. Not today. Not today. No. It's a little cold out. It's raining. Oh, okay. Oh, well, oh he's man. not even wearing them? No. Because no. you like making fun of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I had my hopes up to see some fucking some pterodactyl Derek toes. <laughs> nothing but heartbreak. People are suggesting a new Tony bit. Uh, Les A from Chicago writes a uh, new bit: environmentally unfriendly Tony. <laughs> I could do that. You could do that, right? Start today. Uh, destroy it in front of Tony. In front of Pat. Oh, yeah. Pat. A robin's nest would would be a good start. I'm thinking. No. I'll come up with something good. Yeah, something really heinous to an environmentalist or something. Yeah. But can I say that Derek just... didn't say like fuck. Tony, he just said he thinks he kind of did though. Two. He kind of said beat Derek. a baby seal with I a mean, dolphin. Yeah, <laughs> that is fucking kick yeah. ass, wouldn't it? Tony, I would like that. Can though. you like uh, like staple your nostril? Yeah, I'm waiting. You want me to go? I'm gonna get the staple right now. Yeah, see, it's gonna hurt, though, dude. That's bad. Yeah, that is really. No, you can't do that. Go you get can't. the stapler, boy. Go get it. Oh. Go get the stapler, boy. Oh. Uh, he said, "Go get the staple." But he boy. said, "Like you're a but dog." But see, you're out out of the studio, so you didn't hear him say oh, that. Okay. He just said, "Go it? get the staple, boy." I'm not allowed to. Who says you're not allowed to? I just got yelled at by a bunch of people telling me not to. Yeah. Who's the bunch of people? I I just heard Danny. That was the one voice I heard. He can't. Dave, what what are you doing, Steve? I'm just making sure he's ready. he can't staple his nostrils. Well, he can staple what about his nostrils. Why can't he staple his nostrils? Because I'm not taking him to the fucking emergency room again. You don't have to. Yeah, that's actually what I have to do. Uh, when you hurt yourself intentionally is take you to the fucking emergency room, which I am not doing again. Thank you very much. Do not staple your fucking nose. <laughs> Why wow. Is he yelling I, at me? Wait a minute. Because <laughs> you apparently didn't hear it the first fucking time you, you got told. I have a bit that might work. How about this hurt me when I was a boy? Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know if it'll hurt you, but if you take freshen up toothpaste uh -huh. and you take a dollop and you rub it in your asshole. All right. <laughs> I have toothpaste in my backpack. Oh, Steve's giving us a thumbs up on that. Thanks, <laughs> of Steve. Course. That's okay. I have a brush. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Give me, give me, uh, give me stunt brain. He'll bring <laughs> Pat Duffy to the emergency room. Where's yeah. the uh, toothpaste? Let's try that. What kind do you have, though? I have some. I don't know. It might not burn. This might be a total bust. But when I was a boy and I was at Marvin Stoll's house, yeah. and uh, <laughs> my asshole was very sore, though, because it was raw. So uh, this may not hurt. Yeah. From a man's penis. No. <laughs> Taking massive dumps. I didn't wipe good enough. <laughs> well, as a boy, I didn't wipe good enough. That acidy oh. shit hanging there, yeah. burning away at your asshole. I got a salt and vinegar chip in between my right. boyish cheeks. All right, what do you got, Pat Duff? I have awful Arm & Hammer baking soda advanced white toothpaste. No. But that's not as good. Fresh it really up. You need acidic. that minty. You need mint. All right. Well, this is what I had. How about someone goes and gets fresh it up? It's got to be right around the corner. Because I'm the only intern here. Or Icy Hot. That'll work, too. Oh, Jesus. All right, let's do some Icy Hot. Jimmy, you, you apply. I will yeah. not because it'll hurt my dick. Swim walk. Um, <laughs> oh, no, uh, you can't. Oh, shit. The motherfucker got a dick joke in. <laughs> All right, we're just being ridiculous today. All right, well, if you do that. Why not? Why not? All right. You're in my fucking asshole. Tony, comment. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Crowley. See, I don't... Wait, Tony has a comment, though. Tony, okay, Tony, go ahead, bud. Well, no, I, I, I'm just waiting for the big, <laughs> the big thing. That's all. Here's the thing with this whole thing. I don't, I don't mind doing this, but the, mm -hmm. oh, this just cements Tony's point that I just do stunts. <laughs> yeah, but people will be talking about Pat fucking Duffy, and in the end, that's all we're looking for. Yeah, on this show. so it talk. doesn't matter. Like what yeah. cementing Tony's point or making your point are not relevant in the sense that what we what we look for is like what helps the show more. That's sure. the goal of all of us. Right. Like again, I bring just my thing, and Opie and Anthony bring their thing. And everyone brings their own thing to the show. So it doesn't matter if Tony's point is right and your point is wrong. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? It's no, irrelevant. It's what... Like, right now, the listeners are listening to the show. Right. No, they Besides the battle <laughs> of what I'm saying, they're waiting to, do, to hear something. All right. So, Tony brought in his bit. Okay. He put a bit, Masterpiece Theater, Rob Deuce Show Theater, mm -hmm. with Fat Bob Kelly. So now you have to do a bit as well. All right. Well, before I do a stunt, I did bring another bit. Can oh, we try this first? Oh, what's the bit wow. you Can we try this yes, first? Yes, we can. Which bit? All right. This is a, a list of botched executions that I found. I don't know if you want to read through them. But. Oh, he's handing out freaking Ooh, deals and everything. Worksheet. 
Oh, wow. And then I also have Look another list of the top 20 torture devices, but I picked out my favorites. Oh, oh wow. wow. Look, at, Look that. at this. Oh, wow. Yeah, now, fantastic. I don't know what you guys can do with them, but I felt that it was interesting. Um, um, hold on now. Mm-hmm. This one, I wouldn't say this is a bit as much as I would put the asterisk just, next to it and call it a food for thought. It's material, <laughs> yes. Just <laughs> something to read through, and hopefully we are talented enough to kind make it sound it. good. Right. Yeah, you can't just lob up softball at the gifted ones. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what would you what would you do with this yeah, exactly, personally? Yeah, well, I well yeah, for, yeah, for example, like well, what I would do with them is like the, just the, the descriptions of these torture devices were enough to cause you know cringe factor all over anybody that's listening. Yeah, anybody that can. Go, oh, it's you. I can't. I'm sweating. It's you. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't want to read any. Why? That's your what? bit. It's your bit, Pat. You can't read. You're not just a stunt guy. You don't just hand dittos out. Did you? I know, but I but I didn't. I don't know what to do. Enjoy it. Seriously, I'm not fucking with you. Tony yes, did you his are. thing. No, I'm not. <laughs> he produced it and he did the thing. So he's saying that you can't. So enjoy. You have fucking whatever. Well, just talk about it. I just say clicking print is not creating. <sighs> I can look up. I can look up stories all day long. I can open up a Snapple cap, get a nice fact, and bring it to the boys, and they can talk about it. For oh, a <laughs> whoa. You know. What's wrong, Pat? Do that. No, nothing. I'm, there's no way I'm going to win in a war of you words. You want me to read it? I'll read it. I'll, give me that thing. I'll fucking read it. <laughs> what the fuck sick. are you laughing at? It's funny. It's a comedy show. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. It's funny. It's a comedy show. Why are you getting mad, Pat? I'm just getting... Uh, no, I'm not. Why? You, you, do you say why? Jimmy, throw something at Pat. No. I'm not mad at Pat. I love Pat. Sam, throw something at Pat. Watch what happens. No, I don't want Pat mad at me. I'm going to eat yogurt soon. Just watch this, though. Sam. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I'll throw my camera. Sam, you of all people know that I want to fucking kill you. Yeah. So just stop. Why? <laughs> Why do you want to kill Sam? Well, I don't. I don't see the rationale in me stopping because of that. this is starting <laughs> to get good. Alan Lee Davis, electrocution. <laughs> Before he was pronounced dead, the blood from his mouth had poured onto the collar of his white T-shirt, and the blood on his chest has spread to about the size. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, there's going to be death in this studio. Of, uh, I've never seen... Sorry, no, I'm sorry. I've never seen Pack in... Like, like, I've never... He's, he's all right. He's really mad. Pack control. I want to see you control for once. All right. That's, you know... The size of a dinner plate, even Con- oozing through. Control it. Contro- hold on, hold on. We're, we're, we're doing some therapy with Pat. Go ahead, throw another one, Sam. Control it. Control it. Control it. That's just humiliating the guy. Control it. Control it. So far, so good. Oh, shit. Holy shit. <laughs> That what did he throw at him? Remote control. Oh. The whole show with Colin? <laughs> <laughs> did he hit you? Yeah. Where? Did it hurt? Did it hurt you? Yeah, it's a remote. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Pat, you gotta control that oh, shit. Fuck. Oh my god. What happened? What did he throw? He just, again, hit him in the top of the head with a newspaper. It's a newspaper. Sam just... Somehow Pat Duffy thinks I'm gonna listen to him instead of Opie. <laughs> I don't know where Pat Devy gets this entitlement from, but... Oh. Uh, the listeners are coming up with bits now. Eileen from Brooklyn, five, uh, five most horrifying bugs in the world. See, that we can read that Jesus. list next. Ooh, cool. Okay. <laughs> I'm so fucking mad right now. <laughs> oh, my God. Why, why the anger? Because like, what the fuck? People are throwing stuff at me. Yeah, but we're, like, teaching you. You Sam, gotta control that shit. Hit me with a piece of paper. <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a problem with it. You can't, that was funny. All right, all right, do the same thing to Pat now. Ha <laughs> ha, that was funny. Why don't you like oh, that? Oh, fuck. Ha <laughs> uh-huh. ha. Did someone do that to you when you were a kid? You really don't People like that. have been doing it to me since the second I was born. I'm fucking tired of it. Throwing stuff at you? I don't know. Yeah, you don't like being picked on. No. At all. Oh, that gets better every time. <laughs> <laughs> it's a square oh, in his man. face, too. <laughs> 
Uh, Pat, oh. Pat's not having any of it. I, I don't want to break this up, but I got Snapple cap facts. <laughs> uh, a goldfish... <laughs> A goldfish's attention span is only three seconds. <laughs> it's fucking crazy, right, Oak? <laughs> <laughs> you can, like, pick it up, mess with it, and put it down, and then you forgot what happened. <laughs> You're so right, Tony. You're so right. You know, animals, they, the animals that lay eggs, they don't even have belly buttons. It's what? Crazy. Yeah. What, what no is that all about? Cord, right? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's a great fact. Oh, you guys, you guys done digressing? I'll move on. I got there's plenty of them. Fact. I think there's a factoids. Just hit Pat with another piece of paper. <laughs> cool, yeah. Sam. No. It bounced hey. off Pat's Pat could control himself, though. Pat's fine. Yeah. Do another one. Oh. Oh, so that's that annoying. Oh, it's bouncing around his fucking head. All right. Do one to Tony, though. Well, I'm, in the, I'm kind of in the middle of reading I know, a but... bit. Am I? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Crazy Sam. <laughs> You're, he's a character, like Sam. <laughs> he's like throwing stuff at people. But Pat doesn't like this. He's being abused by Sam with the paper, and he's not like in the limelight here. Well, no, but Pat also... Being outshined by Tony a little bit. Yeah. This is fine. But Pat knows that he does crazy things and he loves doing that. But he also knows that, like, he has thoughts and he has like things that he wants to do that are not crazy. And he feels like he's not being taken seriously. And and he feels like he brought something to the table bitwise and he's just being mocked and kind of like yeah. shit's being lobbed at him. It's a good bid. We did this at AEF uh, ten years ago. He feels like, oh, this is my lot in life. <laughs> that is a compliment. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, like, kind of accurate with that. Like, it's not being. You feel like you bring something in. You want it to at least be addressed seriously on some level. Well, yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> this is really uncomfortable for me. <laughs> Why is it uncomfortable? <laughs> because I just want to leave right now. Oh, yeah. just get up and leave. Put something in your ass. You'll feel right at home. <laughs> oh, <laughs> put that icy oh, thing oh, now. That's, oh, you know, you feel bad. fine. That was bad. Well. No, I'm just trying to make it feel comfortable. I didn't mean that, like, well. disrespectfully. <laughs> Forgive me if I, if, you know, if it came off that way. <laughs> oh. Oh. Sam, what are you doing? To run out of paper. Oh shit! Throw one more thing. Throw one more thing. Let's see. Well, should I do it? <laughs> Can you duck fast? Stuffy's <laughs> uh. holding a fucking Time Warner remote, <laughs> and I don't think he wants to change the. Do you think he wants to change the channel? <laughs> Same ass. Get the remote control. Same ass. Can I do it? Is that what you said? Should I do it? Should I do it? Huh? It's up to you. <laughs> See what kind of balls you have too, my friend. Ooh, it's a you, kid. There it's up is. to you. You oh. want to be guy that could have or guy that did? Jimmy's in the line of uh, fire there. It's fine. But... All right. <laughs> <laughs> As fucking Poe steps in and you run behind Steve. Oh, oh my boo. God. Oh. Boo. 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 Prime time sucks. Oh. oh wow! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, that's something you want here. <laughs> Duffy, <laughs> Duffy just lunged after Sam and had to be subdued by Master Poe. He looked like he wanted to kill. Did you see the face? He was just rage. Wow! Pure rage. Wow, Sam, you are fucked, man. <laughs> that, man he, that guy could rip you to pieces. I don't know what happened. He can rip you to pieces. He threw a stapler at Sam's head. <laughs> was that a stapler? Or yes. A... I don't know if it was a stapler. Oh, it was the remote. <laughs> remote, and then Sam decided that he needed to hit him one more time. <laughs> yeah, that was. And it then, was too wimpy then, of a throw. <laughs> no, 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 no. Duffy's. I got, I got, wow, Duff. Ooh, he just Holy broke. shit, what did, he, what did he do? No, no, I gotta go talk to him. I think he's taking out the recycling. <laughs> he just kicked a bunch of shit. He just went down I don't know what Pat's got. Like, um, a very short uh, temper. <laughs> he certainly <laughs> does. He's very short-tempered, uh, Pat. And I don't think he can take like that kind of abuse. Yeah, man. I thought he could go with the bit. Other people can do that. He uh, he takes it very seriously. Mm -hmm. Pat he doesn't play wanted, games, dude. He if he got a hold of you, I know you were getting <laughs> <was> punched so, <laughs> so bad <laughs> in the face. <laughs> He was definitely going to He was you. fighting back, trying to get away from Poe. Yeah, like, Poe put him your... in, like, a chokehold. And, yeah, would've, uh, I would have bled a lot. Oh, yeah, you'd have been bleeding. <laughs> We'd have probably had to call the ambulance for yeah. you. Yeah. Pat Duffy. 
I didn't. See, I never saw that side of Pat. Like that. He so always seems get, like a the fun minute guy. He in, you can see that that's there. It, it's it's in the eyes, man. It's in the face. Everybody, really? Yes. Of I course. just thought he kind of looked like that. He's a guy that doesn't play games, but he's not a tough guy. He's not like a shithead. But he's a guy that like will try to avoid confrontation. Right, right. I don't see him as starting fights. No, going out no, no, no. He's not. Unless like that. you ever seen him drunk? No. I wonder if he like gets drunk and decides I'm going to kick that guy's ass or something. You seem like a problem, like, like with anybody. I'm, I'm the uh, when I, what you're talking about when drinking. I'm like the nicest guy to drink with ever. It, it's uh, like I just don't start anything. I'll finish it, but I don't. I never start with anybody. No, you seem like a troublemaker. No, me? A little bit, yeah. No. You seem like a guy that if I was like went to school with you or something, you'd you'd hit me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you could push me really far before I even think about you know, snapping. Yeah. I'm oh, pretty cool and calm collected. They beat me up for two hours straight on their show, and I go with it and have fun with it. We've thrown a lot at Tony in the past yeah. couple of years, yes. Yeah. Uh, Danny, is there a report on... No, there isn't. I was just, it, it reminded me of... Uh, we, do you guys remember our old intern, Craig? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, he told me a story once where we got him so mad one day that when he got back to his car, he punched his window in. And he, had a, <laughs> <laughs> he had to get a new window. <laughs> What a bunch of pricks. Yeah, I think it was you. Oh, yeah. I think that was when you poured water all over him. <laughs> we are just a bunch of douchebags because we, you know everyone wanted that to happen. <laughs> but not to that extent. Like, oh, yes, to that extent. No. I wanted to see Sam get punched in the face. No, I always can't. Why wouldn't you want to see that? Because I like Sam. And I also it doesn't like Pat. matter. I like Pat enough where I don't want to see Sam get hurt or I don't want to see Pat have to be asked to not come back. Dude, that would have ruled to say... That yeah. would have been. So, I, 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 you're right. I don't like the consequences that probably would have happened afterwards. Yeah. But to see that animal get up like that, because his face was just rage, and and attack Sam and punch him in the in the head. As long as there was someone to pull him off me before there was any permanent damage, yeah, it'd still be worth it. Yeah. And then. Well, you, you, Sam would be one of those smart asses that would get up with blood coming out of his nose and mouth and then pick a paper and throw it right at his face again. I don't know about that. Sam, when's the last time you were truly decked? I've never been in a fight in my life. <laughs> okay. That would be a lesson teacher. Like, yeah, this does like, happen. Oh, wow. So when you're an asshole to people, <laughs> you get this ringing sensation in your ears and uh, things go black for a while. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you don't know. You're going to find out if you keep doing shit like that. <laughs> Especially Duffy's meat paw. Duffy, Same fucking roast something. beef on a stick. Oh, boy. Hope's back. Same you should have took one for the home team here. Where's he going? Just taking one? <laughs> yeah, should have just took one. He's all right. What do you Good. think? Visit to HR? What's going on? No, nah, no. Nah. No, nah, he's fine. He's, he's never, he'd sure he'd never, he'd never rat, right? He goes to another place, man. He's not leaving, is he? No. We, right, we talked him into coming back up. All right. He goes to another place, though. You see it in his eyes. He's yeah. somewhere else. He's a problem. Pat, you can't fuck with Pat. He's, he's a guy who's, uh, who's fucking, he probably, like you said, has happened his whole life. He's had a lot of bullshit, and he's just a guy that doesn't fucking, he snaps. He has a problem yeah. with you. Yeah, I know. Why, though? I don't know. He, I think he probably had a lot of smart asses that picked on him. He doesn't like when, like, but he really has a problem with you, not just from today. No, well, yeah, no, no, he has a problem thing. with me from before. Because Pat's like, he's smart, but he comes up with lines to come back at somebody like an hour after it happened. So he'll be in the car and he'll think of a good line that could have come back. So he doesn't like it in general because it's not like this is the, the first time. The jerk store on. called. <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on, wait. Now, can we have uh, can we have Pat and Sam just talk? No throwing shit out of but just, just I'm talk. willing to talk. Where's, where's Pat? <laughs> would, could Pat? Would Pat want to talk to him if he doesn't fuck around? I don't want to see Pat snap and get in trouble. I think no. he can't take a ribbing. Like, I mean, that's the that's reason I survived here. A ribbing. He can't take button. a ribbing. But he can take a lot. I mean, I got I to gotta stick up for Duffy. He, 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 he fucking puts up a lot of shit. I want someone in between us, though. He's got to be on the other side of the room. No, he won't, he won't charge you if you just fucking... Just don't throw <laughs> Look shit at, at Sam him. now. The pussy side of Sam is coming through. I want him over there. I, I know. Sam, you all right? A little nervous, huh? No, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, Pat's a fucking... You know, guy ripping right, his head facing, off. Facing the tiger. <laughs> Now, Pat, we yes. didn't know you had a problem with Sam before, obviously. Yeah. Uh, now, what's going on with that? Um, he reminds you of what? Uh, no, it's just like, no matter where you go in your life, it doesn't matter what you do, there's always going to be one person that's going to fuck with you, and that's Sam here, for me. From day one, Sam's been fucking with me. But he's, is he fucking with you like a buddy fucks with somebody, or is he fucking with you in a way that he's kind of like, you think he's testing your manhood? No, literally, he's, he's fucking him in the ass. It's <laughs> terrible. He doesn't like it. I I feel that I, I just feel. I don't, I, yeah, no, yeah, I don't, I don't Pat, think they, 
they do it to me every guy. Like, Danny will walk up instead of being like, he hasn't seen me in a week. How you doing? He'll be like, get out of my seat, you fat fuck. You know, like, and, <laughs> like on a Monday. And, you know, it's just... That it was, was just whatever. the seat asked Danny to say something. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Slow killing dude. Yeah, but you know what? Some people can handle that crap and others can't. And I think it depends on how you were brought up. And it seems like this brings Pat Duffy back to a place that it was uncomfortable, uncomfortable for him. But to, like, reiterate what Tony said, like, it, everybody else fucks with everybody around here. Like, Danny will say the same shit to me, or, or Than will fuck, Than fucked with me so bad recently. And then, but, like, when it comes to, to Sam, it's just, it's, it gets real. He does it like he's doing it real, to, like, actually insult you. And I can't fucking take it sometimes. He's just good at it, I think. Yeah, people think I'm insulted. I don't care about people. So I'm not insulting anybody. It doesn't matter to me. But I just say things, like, I do like to mess with people's minds. And so, like, I will say things that I know that Pat Duffy will take to heart because he's very sensitive. What is something he would take to heart? Don't say it to him necessarily, but what is something he would take to heart? No, I'm serious. Like, not necessarily, like, the insult, but is it about you call him dumb or you call him ugly? He We've doesn't... picked on before. Yeah, he really doesn't like it when people call him dumb or stupid. Like, even if you say that was a stupid thing to do or, like... You know, Pat, he, this, the word stupid, I think it's some kind of trigger for him. Because he <laughs> hates being called stupid. Where like, does that he, come from, Pat? Yeah. Um... I think it comes from, I worked for this guy for a little while, and, and everything that everything that I did, no matter what, I was fucking, I was stupid, and I don't like being called stupid. Mm. Do you so. feel like you are, or do you feel no, like you're No, I feel like I'm quite the opposite. I'm not stupid at all, but it's just, it's hard for me to just say, like, like, he, like I heard him say before, it's hard for me to just be quick on my feet verbally, but I, I don't think, I, and I come off as dumb, like sitting there before, when I was told to explain what I brought, I, I couldn't, because I just can't think of... The way to make it interesting, you know what I mean? And it, yeah, I, exactly. I it's like Marty exactly, McFly like I'm, like I'm flailing chicken. right now. No, and but you're not up. though. You, you, well, you, you panic. You tend to worry about instead of just doing what you got to do. You're worrying about how it's going to be interpreted. Stop worrying about the results. Like the results are beyond your control. When yeah. I was talking to him in the uh, the stairwell, he said to me, "I'm sorry that that you didn't like the bit." And I had explained to him, "It's not even about the bit he handed us." Because we, we had something else going on. Our whole goal there was to get you to fucking react. We did yeah. our jobs there. Mm -hmm. We wanted the big, holy shitty fucking turn into Hulk moment. The worst thing you could so, have done was brought a well-produced bit. Right. Nobody wanted to hear that. Who <laughs> <laughs> cares? Not, not, at that mo not at that moment, anyway. You could have given, uh, given us the, the greatest radio bit ever. It didn't matter because uh, of the timing of the whole thing. Our whole goal was to get a re get some kind of interaction going between you and Tony or, well, and then eventually Sam, obviously. I I didn't know you and Sam had a thing, though. See, I didn't know that. We didn't even look at this bit because we're like, yeah, all right, it looks like it could be something good for the show, but we yeah. were in the middle of just trying to get you to fucking lose your mind. Yeah. And also, I had to shit on the bit because when you look at it, fucking, fucking Tony, we broke down to 20 good seconds a day. <laughs> we don't have to go back there. We already did all that. <laughs> we, we, we basically covered the fucking, you know... Mm -hmm. the, the fucking nonsense he's been fucking passing off. I let it be known, no Pat, out of all the interns that have ever been here, every one of them hated you, and you hated them. And what and what did you say about me? I like you, Tony. Exactly. See? Uh, and Because, yeah, I do it in a fucking regular way. I don't even bust balls. I just come in and do my thing. So let it be known that, you know, w whatever happens, I'm the one you liked. Besides all these I other fuck. <laughs> the, all the interns that Shut are off. gone, you hated them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And they hated your guts. Yeah. See, I'm the only one who doesn't fuck with you. That's why you like me. You just, you just have never a hard here. time getting fucked with people. <laughs> Wait, you, so you guys actually like each other? See, I have no problem with Tony, but if Tony thinks for a second that he should be hired before me, he's full of fucking shit. Well, I don't Whoa. know. This how about, segment kind of... If you guys like each other, how about a man-on-man -man kiss? <laughs> no, I don't necessarily like him. It's oh, just that God. I don't, I don't well, fucking... What happened? Jimmy? You, you don't like him? No, oh, I, I don't fucking hate him, but I don't like him. Put it that way. Is it, it is what it is. I don't fuck with him. He don't fuck with me, and that's the end of it. On the uh, outside, who would you say immediately, just on looks, has the more friendly look? Who do you think, uh, Jimmy? Um, it's hard to say, man, because uh, I see Duffy more, so I, I know he's a good dude. Um, Duffy looks way friendlier. In a way, when yeah. When he's not like yeah. that. He's, wow. in a, he's in another world right now. But yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm with the bees right now. Tony, I, I Tony was... looks scary just when he's just doing his, you know, just yeah. walking around, man. I would say uh, the friendlier one. Duffy has an innocence about him, and I think that's why he does the Amish beard and everything fucking else. He's like trying to trying to make himself look tougher. You could also. See I know you could rip someone's head off. I'm not even going to fucking play. Yeah. That's obvious. 
But I think inside there's like a, a an innocent, uh, a very innocent boy. It's just a little boy in there. Yeah. yeah. So I, I have no doubt about it. With. Yeah. So what can Sam do to make things, like, you know, like, I didn't know you guys, like, who do you dislike the most in Sam. this play? <laughs> wow, oh, Jesus. Okay. No, Sam. Sam's not going to change because Sam is Sam, and Sam is really good for the show. And be, what me and Sam have shouldn't change. It's fine, but it's not going to. It's not going to change. Do you I, like Fan? I, I yeah, I do like Fan. Fan got me so bad though, recently. Bad. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, what happened Iraq? there? Do you like Iraq? I yeah, I do a lot of work for Eric. <laughs> On our show, you said you do all his work. Oh, well, figures. Yeah. Stop trying to make up. <laughs> I'm trying to call back fun Pat moments. <laughs> <laughs> Put a nice bed under it. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing all right now, Pat? Yeah, I'm a we, lot better than I was. We don't want you running out of the building. And, I know. I yeah. wasn't quitting, away. though. I was just... No, but you're running out like a fucking like King Kong, leaving the fucking... The, this, the I was going to attack yeah. the first person on the sidewalk. <laughs> yeah, that would have been great. Yeah. Someone walking in the building gets strangled by yeah. Pat. Probably the same guy had mustard poured on him. <laughs> <laughs> so unlucky. <laughs> no one ever yeah. had mustard uh, poured uh, on him. Uh, uh, <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> that was, was a hell of a shot. I thought that was across the street. Yeah, yeah. It was wonderful. <laughs> it was bringing mustard on that guy. <laughs> <laughs> but Sam just rubs you the wrong way. Yeah. Because you, you, you think, is it that he's kind of shit? Like, he fucks with you not understanding that the consequences are real? Yeah, like, I, I don't think, I think Sam fucks with everybody the same. Like, I don't think Sam that singles me out. But I think that Sam, I, I just take it from Sam a lot differently than other people do. Yeah, that's what it is. Pat Duffy's the most emotional of the interns. That's also why he can't think of stuff with a snap of a finger, because if you say something that hurts his feelings, instead of just being methodical and thinking of a comeback, his feelings are hurt. So his, his emotions, he's just got all this rage in him that wants to come out. So when I start shitting on him, the rage comes out, and then he can't do anything about it, because he can't hit anyone here. Right. I think you two ought to shake hands. I say a hug. Yeah. Not a fag hug. Just finish a, finish this uh, whole thing. Yeah. A little handshake. I, I, I'm thinking a, a bare-chested hug. <laughs> bare-chested? <laughs> yeah, what? what? Why What's not? Wrong? Like, What's wrong with you guys? guys bare-chested, wait a minute. I bare-chested okay. Yeah, what are you guys, a bunch of homophobes? Relax. A little bare-chested hug. Oh. <laughs> I'll squeeze the life out of him. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think yeah, we're going to hug. You can't hug him too hard. You I be... would probably try to break his spine. Well, yeah, that's I why I want to be close to him. That's why you both are bare-chested, because then it's silly. <laughs> <laughs> right, how about Tony just, knows. Just a handshake. Then. I don't I, I don't want to be close to him. How about just a quick handshake? Handshake's fine. You guys make up like men. What men do? <laughs> Let's are see how sorry? close Sam but it's can... not. Stop. I am sorry. I didn't mean to... Hold on. I'm not even going for another reaction. I just want to, for my own benefit, I want to see... Uh, you both start the uh, opposite sides of the room, and, and I want to see how close you could get before Pat Duff. You can't uh, get any closer. Yeah, I'm, I'm, That's all I'm asking for now. I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm, asking for a, a strangulation or any of that. And Master Pole will be close just in case, so I'm, everyone I'm, is safe. I'll safe be straight. I, I don't. I, I, out of fear of Sam's safety, I don't want to be close to him. Right that's, now, that's legit. Like, like yeah. you don't know if you'll just clock like, him. Like, no, because if I get close to Sam, she used to be some fucking dumb smile. I just. I, oh yeah, he probably would. That, that's yeah. fair. Have you ever fantasized that's about punching? That's fair. Him? Yes, I would gleefully break my hands on Sam's face. I've thought yeah. about it so many times. Wow, really? Oh my of, god, you had a lot of where, Sams in your life growing where up. Where exactly would you hit him first? First, first I'd, punch. First thing I would do, I'd hit him right in the chest. So he, he got stepped back, and you know what to do. And when he leans forward because of his chest, I would hit him twice in the face like that. That, and then that would knock him down. I'd get him on the ground. I'd put my knees over Suck his his, over his shoulders, <laughs> and I would oh. literally punch until my fist hit pavement through his skull. <laughs> I would wow. fucking kill him in would, a second. Would you do an American History X? Put his mouth on a Absolutely. curb. Absolutely, bite the fucking curb. Absolutely. Wow. Right, wow. A little tension right. between you. I thought about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A little. Might be a little problem. Uh, and now, what would you do, Sam? Uh, yeah. Against uh, Pat Duffy. Well, if me and Pat Duffy were to fight, I would probably get punched in the chest, and then I would lean my head forward and get punched twice in the face. <laughs> funny. That's damn funny. <laughs> and then I would end up dying. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, I wouldn't kill you. I would beat you to within an inch of your life, so that for the rest of your life, the next time you would fuck with somebody, you thought about it. You right. thought about the consequences. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe you could put a, a quartering by horses, number 13, on your bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 boy. Oh, now, this is just oh, ugly. No, that's, that's wrong. That now, was, Sam. That was bad. Does this worry you what he's saying? Like, did you know that he had this level of animosity for you? Yes, I did. You know he's... So why do you still fuck with him? Why would you throw papers at his face? I thought that we were just getting along. Like, I thought he was going to be like, this time... You know, he's finally going to see I'm just playing with him because 
I want to be his friend. <laughs> <laughs> like, I thought wow, maybe I just... That's a hell of a like, way. I throw the papers at Tony, and he's like, oh, Sam's throwing papers at me. We're just playing around. Sam's cheeks figured, are awfully rosy today. What's that about? Well, you can't help it. This is <laughs> both races fighting it out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't like the way you all left me hanging on that one. It hurts. <laughs> you, you guys, uh, maybe they need to watch a chick flick together or something. You mm. guys need to do something to get this... Uh, this anger out. My ways of making friends is not working. <laughs> making friends. Sam, take a step toward uh, Pat Duffy. All right. One step. Yeah, because you, you guys can't have any violence towards yeah, one each other. Step. You work together. You can't. Okay. You can't have that. Tell you're me just... what you're feeling, Pat. Uh, Sam is taking one step toward you. He's a good right. fifteen to twenty feet away. Uh, I'd say fifteen feet away. Right. How are you feeling right now? I feel. I, I'm just Still waiting right? for him to do something that's just going to fuck with me the whole time over here. But so. so far, okay with him a little closer. Yeah, I'm all right. It's all fine. right, uh, Sam, take one more step. Uh, one you? more step. All right, now you're about, uh, I don't know, 12 feet away from uh, from Pat. Pat. I freak out, though. I, I can't just... I can't because I won't get hired. I can't does, just freak out. Does he embarrass well, that's you what, that's what. Yes! Yes! That, that's what we're getting at. You can't freak out. This, I is, know. A, this is a lesson. So why a put life me in lesson. the position to freak out? Calmo, calmo. <laughs> deep <laughs> breath, deep breathe, deep breath, okay? All right. All right, breathe, breathe. Let's see you breathing. I'm fine. I'm breathing. All right, Sam, take another step. All right, one more step. I'm not doing anything. Got no paper balls, no nothing. <laughs> Sam is. You do have paper balls. Paul, he's got his hands in his pocket. <laughs> Let it be known that Sam's a little nervous right now. All yeah. right, uh, Sam's about ten feet away from. Because he's he just described what he's going to do to him. Yeah. It wasn't good. He wants to kill him, <laughs> no, and, no. or not kill him, but beat him. Believe me. By the way. He'd be dead. I know. Yeah, you, you, you'd be like, oh, I didn't mean to kill him. I just meant to beat him within an inch of his life. But then uh, my ruler broke. And... <laughs> how's, your, how's your fist going to get to the pavement without passing through his brain? Yeah. <laughs> he right, needs that true. to live, right. Pat. Thanks for picking that apart. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Well, not people necessarily. Are calling, people to... are calling Tony the, uh, the callback king today, by the way. The Ooh. callback king sitting oh, in with yeah. us. Oh, uh, yeah. Sam, one more step toward uh, Pat. Pat, right. what do you feel is... Uh, one more friendly it, step. He's within ten feet of you now. How you feel? I, I just, I'm just, I'm imagining the next, the next ten minutes of my head, and I just. I don't think, I don't think Sam's brave enough to say anything crazy. He's just walking toward you. That's all that's going on. Oh, here. that's it, Poe. Kick Sam, the papers I'm, I'm that he was throwing at his head. Words, I have nothing to lose. So well, I, you, you have stuff to lose. You could go to jail. You could lose a job. You got plenty to lose. Wow, listen how he's threatening you with legal fucking shit. Oh, Sam will be immediate. Sam will be immediately sue guy. Immediately. Yeah. Sue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not gonna punch you back. I'm weak. Take the fun out of it. I'm weak. <laughs> All right, one more step. One more step, Sam. Let's All see. Right, just one more step. The steps are getting smaller, by Sam. It yes. needs to be noted. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're, uh, yes, they, they were big strides when this uh, little little game of chicken started. I was much further away before. Pat, how you doing now? I'm fine. How I many feet? I don't like the the security coming in as well. No, well, I don't mind. Well, that. Just in case, so for your own safety. How many feet away are you there, Pat? Uh, I'd say like eight feet. All right, Sam. How about another step? All right, I'm going one more step, Pat. All right. We're good. <laughs> oh, that was a really that was small a half, step. Half a step. <laughs> yeah. half step. That was a st <laughs> That was a... Yeah, that was an ST. Very good, Jimmy. Stan, are you worried? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you worried about? How many feet away are they, Iraq? Well, uh, face to face, how many feet? About six or seven feet from each mm -hmm. other. For anyone that thinks that you can't live without a brain... <laughs> He, <laughs> or apparently a funny uh, guy. Uh, <laughs> it was too far away. <laughs> Should we do another step, Sam? I don't know. I mean, we kind of made the point, well, right? Sam, what's your fear? <laughs> if if Poe weren't there, I would be a lot more nervous. Yes. I, and I saw Poe very ably, as you know, he should well, Paul, you know, take take Pat out you of the equation. You can stop Pat without hurting him, I hope. All right, one more. Yeah. How about we try one more step? We're trying to get the, a breakthrough okay. here, because you guys got to work together on some level. Yeah. Yes. I Sam, would like a handshake. Sam, how about a, another step? One more step. Well, that was almost a, a full step. Sam, how uh, far away would you say you are from Just death? out of his reach. Yeah, probably four feet. Yeah, just out of his reach. I'm thinking about maybe taking a half step back. <laughs> no, no. Oh, no. Kinda... This is a lesson for Sam, too, I'm thinking. Oh, <laughs> something... Pat's moved his hands now. I, just, I don't know what to do Into with my hands. Oh, wow, you look me in an acting scene. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guess that's Actually, what put him around Sam's throat. <laughs> no, you don't have to do that. I'd like he's to. just kidding around. Uh, do we have another step in us, I'm wondering, Sam? Well, I'm so close. I mean, I don't think... I well, think... this is where it's got to, you know, Pat's got to do the right thing and... Let's uh, let's Paul, do. What, what are you doing? He's stepping. 
Let's do one more step there. Okay, we're going one more step. Oh, oh my god, that was close. That's close enough where... Wow. That was four inches, Sam. Yeah, but now we're pretty much within each other's reaches. You've, you've been a wise-ass this kid for a while. I mean, the least you could do is, like, be brave enough to take a step toward him. That's up How to do you it. figure? Because we told mm -hmm. Pat he can't touch you. Pat, yeah, but you could tell Pat, people. What are you a lot feeling right now? Sam is very close to you. He's less than four feet away from your face. I, I feel like Sam's got that fucking smile on his face. Like he's, ha I knew he was gonna have it. And I'm, just... I'm straight faced. It's a million dollar I, smile. I, I, this is no bit. I think Sam is a little, a little scared right now. I think Sam? you're scared of me. I swear. I just admitted that you would kill me. <sighs> oh my. I'm not gonna. I would never have a physical you confrontation think, with you. You don't think Pat? Sam is uh, is scared of you, Pat? No. Oh my god. <laughs> We need to find a psychologist. Just start making chicken noises, Sam. But, no, yeah, you have to understand, Pat. On oh, the street, on the sidewalk, I wouldn't dare fuck with you. Oh. But there, there, here, there are levels of protection that protect me from physical confrontation. So the only way that you would That's fuck my with me strength. is because Paul was standing in front of you. Yes. <laughs> what if Paul was looking the other way or was sick that day? If Paul was if Paul was sick today, yeah, I wouldn't be standing this close to Pat Duffy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> see, Pat, see, does that help you out a little bit? But that's yeah. why do you need Sam to be afraid of you? Because like almost like that's like because you Not, feel like you can't battle with him verbally, you, so you need some feeling of empowerment. Like like he has to know like right. Sam should know right. that I'm a man and there are consequences for him doing this. Yeah, I want to get this uh, like it's a press conference for a prize fight. Let's uh, get a little closer. <laughs> well, I think we're, the next you know, one. that's comforting, Paul. <laughs> we got the shot, you know. <laughs> Sam, I, I think you got another uh, uh, another step in you. Well, if you want to do the picture, we could just put it on panorama and kind of just stay. How about another step there, Sam? What do you think, Pat? Should we go one more step? Go for it, Sam. This All is right. this is you know. Go, I'm going up to Poe's shoe. Oh, there you go. Okay. Watch his legs. Okay. All nice. right. What's going on over there, Tony? They really getting really I, close. Poe's got one foot in between them. I don't yeah. think Poe needs to have a foot in between them though. He's feeling his he's feeling his chest. Ah, uh, <laughs> Poe, back up a, a second. Yeah, Poe, I don't think you, Pat, you're not gonna charge him for just. No. Pat, yeah, he's, all, not, he's not gonna charge him. Poe. Let's all back up. No, 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 no. Why are you backing up? Back, back, right back up. He's not gonna charge him. Pat, how you feeling now? I'm all right. I'm all right. So you don't always have to like yeah, solve things fine. with like fists and punching that's, and anger. That's why we're doing this. It like shows that you know you're a reasonable fella. Well, I have this to humongous do. is a reasonable man. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, should we go for another step? Um, well, how far apart are they? I can't really see. They're about four feet. I'll um, say three feet. Three Pat, feet. Very carefully, so you don't scare Sam, put your arm all the way out. Oh. All right, all right. Oh, oh, we're good. Oh, we're good. Oh, all right. Oh. See, Pat's showing a little humor, Sam. Yeah, I see. Sam almost shit his I pants. Was just, I was just screwing with him a little bit. Yeah, see, Duffy did a big, huge step forward right into Sam's face. Yeah, Opie see? said arm out, and Pat Duffy said body out. Yes. And went the whole way. But Pat's showing that look. I can, I can play, too, a little bit. He was having a little fun, right, Pat? A little bit. A little bit? So Gotta Sam, give something. What would you like to say to Pat, uh, for real? Like, not, you know, because you, you know you've been fucking with him and you see it's been getting to him on a, on a real level, like not a fun level. Yes. Pat, I have no vested interest in hurting you mentally. I couldn't hurt you physically. All right. And that's, that's Sam, it. Sam, now that you're real close to Pat, like, explain what your motive is. Are, are you, is your motive to drive uh, Pat Duffy insane or just to have a little fun? Or to well, push buttons of someone that... That hair just drive you crazy, Pat. Yeah. <laughs> Would you love to just see blood coming out of it? And it would. It wouldn't even get on the hair. It would just pour out from under it. Yeah. Because it's an afro, so you'd just see the afro, and then slowly the blood would come down the sides of his head. Is this on Pal Talk? Out of his ears. If this is oh, of course it is. All right. How about, let's just see how close we get. And then we just count out like 10, 20 seconds, and then this bit will be over. Okay. All Pat, right. Sam, turn, turn your head around so you get real close. All right. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> All right, Sam. He actually did. How, about your, how about your shoes kind of touch? That as close as that. How about our shoes touch Master Poe's shoe? No. Sam, you, you know it would be really funny if what? you threw paper at his face right now. <laughs> no. You re you remember that Pat? Yeah, like minutes I do. ago when he was just no. throwing paper at your face. I blacked most of it out. How annoying yeah. that was. How about yeah. how about uh, how about we get really Ugh. close to end the bit? We don't really have a, a good ending to the bit yet. Sam, a little step forward. I got an idea. All right, a little step. <laughs> Here we go. Pat, you do a little step. All right. See, nothing's right. happening. Hey, oh, you got I think look. he's okay. I you think... can tell I'm intimidated of you. Yes, Pat? Mm -hmm. Look at that, that face. Yeah, That's a, what it, wait, wait, were you taunting him with that? Does that make you feel good? No, I'm, I'm making sure we're all good. No, right. that made it but sound you, like yeah, you, you were being sarcastic. 
Like, you could tell I'm intimidated by you. Does that make you feel good? Like, big man. That's not what I'm looking for. That's not, I what are you looking for, Pat? I didn't, I didn't, You're, I I, you guys I, are less than two feet apart. I right never now. expected it to get to this point. I'm not looking for anything. Pull his heart out. I would love to. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> what could he do? Kalima! <laughs> Kalima! <laughs> Just like, pull his heart out. Indiana like, Jones, Temple ah, of Doom. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. All right, they're not even really looking at each other. No, I can't. Look, yeah. I bet yeah. everywhere but it's. I him. bet you could yeah. left hand slap him in the face before Poe could even. No, no, I can tell because it was slow motion. You really could have gone a lot faster. Well, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pat was just having Look fun. Look at Master Poe is in there. <laughs> how, was, how how was just I am fun. Master, the Master. <laughs> how about this? How about a handshake? Yeah, a handshake needs to be done. It's a game. Are you faster than the Master? <laughs> That's right. I think Sam's reaching out his hand. Will you do that for me, Pat? Will you shake my hand in honor? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, boy. I guess that was oh, a no. Oh, boy. There you go. That more. was so I consider that friends little, again. A little I'd something going on. You, yeah. Wow. All right. Pat, why did you have to shake his hand like that? I, now I have a problem with you. I'm sorry. Well, you'd set Here, this whole I'll, thing this up nice for you, and yet you, you grabbed his hand and pulled him toward you so you could, like, destroy him. I'm sorry. A nice handshake. I'm sorry. A nice this whole one. thing for you. It's you like can't a... beat the guy. We can't have you walking around wanting to... We, we can have you hate each other, but we can't be worried that stupid little Sam is going to get physically beaten up. I Even think... though it would be fun to watch, we... we you would get... <laughs> oh. I've been walking around wanting to kill him for a year, though. Well, I know, but you have to work that out. And let me tell you what happens. We, if we ever hire you, we you, can't be violent. You kill Sam. There's a position on the Opie and Anthony show. Ta-da. <clears throat> when he gets hired. That's right. You go, go to Just remember when you're shaking his hand, your new name in the office is going to be newspaper face for like three weeks. Oh, <laughs> Tony, oh, you're flipping sides on me. Shit. I don't understand Tony. what's going on. Tony, Take what? one for the team, Sam. <laughs> Tony, what was that about? <laughs> a nice handshake. I need to see this. Give him a nice shake. A, a nice shake. shake, smile, good. Get him. No, I won't get him. Right. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Right. Right. Wow. Jesus. Now, now... Sam, yes. tell him about the stink finger you just gave him when shaking his hand. <laughs> There's no stink. Paul, would you smell my hand? <laughs> There's no stink Jeez. fingers here. And E Rock is just smiling like a retard because it's not him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Pat, don't you understand all the abuse everyone else gets around here? It's yeah. Like it gets really ugly. No, I, I know, I, and I fully understand that. And I, I fully of, accept it's, that. Instead of saying shit, we were saying Nagel. I mean, that's pretty That's pretty brutal. <laughs> oh, Absolutely. you had to bring that up? That takes out a whole family, <laughs> not just Eric. Oh, I think you meant a whole substance. Until <laughs> <laughs> he had to go and wreck the whole thing. Yeah. yeah, but that was fun. No, it's all right. Yeah. It's all right. No, it's not. It's... <laughs> <laughs> All right, Pat, hmm. you got to chill, man. I, I'm calm. I can't freak out. I'm fine. Do you I talk to anyone about this? No. Because this is a real thing. I've never seen this before. I know. I try not to get like this. <laughs> but what's scary is if we didn't have this on the air today, people go, well, you provoked it. But if that's been going on behind the scenes and we didn't know it, that may have exploded at, at a time when fucking Poe was at court or not here or, and no one was there to stop it. That may have exploded. Where fucking Than or Danny had to run in and, and stop it. So it's like now we're all aware of it because it's on the air. That would be a pain That'd in the ass. That'd be awful. What a pain in the ass that would be to break that up. Have to pick Sam's dumb teeth out of the fucking rug <laughs> and lose Duffy? Uh -huh. And that face is made for TV. Well, you know, then we'd have to answer to his mother. Ugh. She'd be really upset. No know, kidding. She'd have to mash up fish sticks and fucking <laughs> and feed fucking, it to you like applesauce. Yeah. I'd be very happy, actually. Sam, are you going to continue fucking with Pat Duffy? Or is this kind of like the... Well, we can go ahead and... Is this, is this a turning point? We can go ahead and put a breather on that for the time being. <laughs> let uh, let the hot temperatures cool down a little bit before we start doing any of the jokes around the office. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I think Sam has learned a little something today, too, just a little bit. I feel like we've all learned something about ourselves. I think so, yes, yes. You all right, Sam? Oh, I'm good. All right, you're a brave motherfucker, man. He is. No, he's not. We made him do it. No, I'm and not talking Poe about standing there. No, I'm not talking about this. I'm talking oh. about how he just takes his shots. Oh, that's because he's a smart ass dude that never thinks of consequences. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not even. Be, I'm not even kidding. You are the biggest smart ass around here, and you just don't think of the consequences. Like some animal, like Duffy's, just gonna pound your face in. <laughs> I will tell you to Duffy's credit. Uh, 
my ribs may bruise because of the shots with the remote control. <laughs> <laughs> the remote control. Uh, yeah. He wailed it into you. Yeah, man. he really did. Wow, that had to hurt. But even yeah. even Duffy, you got to give even though you don't like Sam, you got to give him credit for one thing. Is that even though he's scared to death uh, of, of getting his teeth knocked out, he is. Sam's a funny dude. Oh, absolutely. And, and but and he did actually in 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 knowing that your rage was there, he did kind of go because he's not challenging you as a man like I'll kick your ass. He went for the fucking funny angle, knowing that there was physical harm that could come to him. That is the sign of a fucking funny guy. I got to say that for Sam. Yeah, I, I won't take anything away from Sam. I think he's a really funny dude, but. He just, I don't know. What a piece of shit. Yeah, he's a fucking asshole. <laughs> I'll take them both. Yeah. But it's not even Sam. You're mad. He reminds you of something. Yeah. That's what. That's why you got to talk to someone. Hey, Pat, <laughs> who taunted you? Everybody. When you were, why? Why, What was it about you when you were a kid? You seem like a normal guy. I, I don't know. I don't, you don't ask to get fucked with. It just happens. Would they beat you up? Uh, yeah, I've been beat up a bunch of times when I was a kid. Just made fun of fucking constantly. Who taunted you? What would they make fun of you Who for? Who would they make fun of? You're not a make funnable guy. Yeah. Just... Well, that's the point. He he made himself look like he's not the make funnable guy. He, he used to be. He's got the tats. He's got the the crazy man beard. You know who's <laughs> fucking with him now? Beard. Think of him without the beard, without the tats. Do you work out or something? No. All right. The landscape. Well, Landscape, so you're getting exercise. You know, imagine him a little doughier without the, fa the facial I was, hair. I was a little over 300 pounds at one point. Oh, okay, so, so you're a fat you kid. Go. Yeah, I was, hey, I was a big fat hey, kid. Hey, get a load of fats over there. Yeah. That's pretty much what you got. His mm. name's Tony. What are you doing? Yeah, I've been, <laughs> I've been oh, fat since eight. I'm fine. Yeah, what the yeah. fuck? Tony, I got to stick up for you. I'm starting to like you That's a lot That's a coincidence. More. You were fat since eight. <laughs> <laughs> You really were uh -huh. at <laughs> Of course. I'll Sometimes mine you. take a couple of minutes. <laughs> you were uh, 300 pounds. Yeah. Wow. Really? Yeah. That was huge. Not in shape pounds or? No. Real out of shape pounds. Just. Bleh. Yeah. Yeah. What name hurt the most that they would call you? I, yeah. I don't. Just mainly stupid. I don't like being called stupid. Uh. Did your father call you stupid? Uh, some, a couple times. Okay. Yes. Were, well, uh, now this is an honest question. I'm not kidding. Were you stupid? I don't think so. Oh, okay, because there I are some kids stupid. that are just fucking stupid. Yeah, no, I, I don't think I'm stupid at all. I, no, I've seen you uh, show us your intelligence. Yeah, I yeah. think I'm somewhat intelligent. You know who's stupid? Sam is real fucking stupid. <laughs> what do you he, mean? Because you're fucking, you taunt a jackal. Yeah. You just fucking taunt animals that can kill you. Well, it's like being at the zoo and just hoping those bars on the cage don't yeah. break. Yeah, you're the tiger fucking guy with the slingshot. <laughs> yeah, Shooting the fucking me. tiger. Dude, yep. you, gotta, you gotta, like, size up the person you're being a smartass to. I was well aware of the consequences of my actions. The and quicker you just... learn that lesson, the better you're gonna be, trust me. I was hoping I'd have space to run. Oh, really? Yeah. I knew that Pat Duffy had it in him, and I'm well aware that if I get him angry enough, he will physically annihilate me. You got a bruise yet? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's for you. That's for pal talk. <laughs> so you got a bruise? <laughs> yeah, I'm a bruise. Wow, That's for pal talk. That. I don't like Sam's hairy stomach. It actually shows <laughs> that he's a man you for real. That, uh, really? that takes the whole twink thing it out really of the It really does. Yeah, yeah, Robert Kelly's going to be very disappointed. We'd have to oh, nair you. He was you. hoping you'd have a hairless body. Just like nair all the hair <laughs> off you so you're a true twink. Yeah, I'll shave it to save the gimmick. <laughs> That's a gimmick. <laughs> See, there he goes again. Oh, that Sam. Yeah. <laughs> Pat, you all right? I'm okay. All right, Pat's all right. I'm just going over my head the things that I would have changed about this already. <laughs> like just what? things I could have done better. <laughs> things I thought of now to say. Like what? Ugh. Like what? Oh, I don't know. Give us an example. It's... You panic in those moments. You got to stop pan. You worry about the, the results of none of your business, as I was told. All you could do is spit out what you got, and wherever the fuck it lands, it lands. Don't p worry about how it's going to look mm. or sound. Just save it for the next guy who misses something in the trash can. He'll work that, was, on him. that whole attack was Sam. I saw Sam in my head. Wow. wow. The, the whole time. He's got a problem with you. Oh, my God. That's the first thing I said to him when he came in the office after we all knew that he, I was like, you thought you just pictured my head on that construction worker's yeah. body, didn't you? And he, yes, I did. Picture <laughs> your head anywhere except on your shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty right. much. Fuck. Uh, he sees an afro, it's over. <laughs> Therapy's going very well today. Eat Up Martha has a great idea. Uh, have each staff member come in and give Pat one piece of constructive criticism. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Who wants to line up and give him constructive criticism? Than will do it. All right, Than. Big, tall Than. This is constructive now, not... For real. For real. Well, I'm, well, there's a real obvious one. 
Do you mean it has to do with radio production or just like Whatever. life? Like, um, mind your temper. <laughs> Hold on, words from Nana. <laughs> Nana, <laughs> the Nana and Sam show. Oh. Oh, mind your temper. That's right, and then put on a, a sweater. It's chilly in here. Settle uh, down. I'm gonna watch my stories. Yeah. Okay. Mind your temper. <laughs> Fucking. Anybody else wants to get in on the constructive criticism? I see Danny at the door. Danny's making his way in. I was just watching the show. Oh, okay. Anybody else but, uh, brave enough to do the uh, constructive yeah, I'll criticism? Yeah, I'll, I'll give him some constructive criticism. Yeah. Um, I know that <laughs> Pat gets bogged down a lot doing some other work, and I think that might take away from the time that he could be trying to be creative, which Tony has a big problem with. So maybe he should try and take a few minutes or, or maybe an hour or, or just some piece of time Maybe not even here, maybe at home or something, and try to come up with something creative if he wants to not be known as Stunt Boy all the time. I like that he's known as Stunt Boy. Well, I, and I don't mind either, because I think it's great radio, but it, it's a problem C100 for... C100 Stunt Boy is like, ugh, but like Pat Duffy's uh, stunts are impressive. To yeah. me, that's not even a bad thing to be a Stunt Boy. I think Stunt Boy is a derogatory term. You do shit that most people won't fucking do. Which is amazing. And I enjoy it. You well, know, you have a, there's a cringe style to your fucking performance... Which is, it is, he, it's necessary. He brushed his teeth with dog shit, but if he doesn't want to be known as the kid that brushed his teeth with dog shit, you know, try and come up with, with another angle. I'm not saying that you have to stop doing the stunts, keep doing them, they're great, but at the same time, if, if, if it's going to bother you to be known as the kid what? that eats dog shit... I never said that, though. I never, I, it doesn't bother me. It, just the, the whole thing with, with Tony saying that's all that I do, that was my whole argument. Because, yeah, obviously on air, one of the only things I do is stunts and stuff on the air, but behind the scenes I do a bunch of stuff. Yes. All right, very good. I guess that's it. <laughs> Can we take badly? four breaks which, in a row? <laughs> which uh, torture device did you like? Um, <laughs> the one that I, the one that I listed at the bottom, the the, the last one. The what? saw. The saw. Why don't you get a device right. to clean all these papers that bounced off your face? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. Thanks, Tony. Thanks. Wow. Uh, the saw may represent human. Ingenuity's darkest hour. The idea here is that when the victim is suspended upside down, most of the oh, blood yeah. will go to the head. That is an important part of the process, you see, because as the torturers saw, oh, as the torturers saw into the victim's crotch, all of the blood in the head will oxyg oxygenate the brain so that the victim will not pass out as one normally would under such excruciating pain. Typically, the saw would reach the victim's navel before unconsciousness would take hold, sometimes as far as the midriff. Imagine that. Your legs are spread. You're upside down. They take a saw, put it right against your fucking taint, and just start whoosh, whoosh, sawing you in Holy half. Holy shit. Okay, And yeah. you're conscious through uh, enough of it. Yeah, because if you're, like, hanging, like, from your arms, let's say, and they'd start doing that, the blood rushes out, you're going to pass out, so the pain yeah. is going to be a little bit... A little bit less. So you get the, all the blood in your head, and you're you're just feeling a saw Fuck, sawing dude. through your taint. Wow, wow, wow. Is there another one you like? Wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, wow. Not very nice. Maybe <laughs> uh, try it out on Gypsy Woman. Hey, we ever get that boar at uh, clip? We forgot today? No, I all, think. All hands great success. success. Right, no worries. Uh, and botched executions. You like one of these, Pat? Um, I, th I like all of them, actually. The first one is pretty good. Uh, Alan Lee Davis, that's the one that you started yeah. reading, reading, Tony? Yeah. Before he was pronounced dead, the blood from his mouth had poured onto the collar of his white shirt, and the blood on his chest had spread to about the size of a dinner plate, even oozing through the buckle holes on the leather chest strap, holding him to the chair. All right. The Hawaiian alphabet only has 12 letters. <laughs> 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 it's an apple cap, bitch. God damn. Oh, you're a prick.